Am I the only one working today? Oh, hey. Since I'm working, why not do a movie review? Happy May Day. It's not happy for me, but you know, go ahead and have fun. And today we're going to review the amazing Spider-Man 2. The amazing Spider-Man 2 stars Andrew Garfield, Emma Stone and Jamie Foxx. This is the sequel to the new Spider-Man series we saw last time and Andrew Garfield was praised a lot in the earlier movie. But how will this sequel turn out which is directed by Mark Webb? Well, to know that you'll have to watch the full review. Hang on. Peter Parker grapples with the effect being Spider-Man will have on those closest to him as he tries to distance himself away from those who he loves to carry the burden of his newfound responsibility his girlfriend Gwen Stacy only reiterates to him that people have the choice to be a part of his life Peter worries about the danger he poses to her and his childhood friend Harry Osborn who inherits Oscorp after his father passes away from a genetic condition Knowing that Peter snaps images of Spidey, Harry asks his friend to help him find the web slinger in order to combat the disease that threatens his life as he pieces together that Spider-Man's abilities were part of their father's work. Harry resorts to extremes when it seems that Spider-Man won't deliver. He teams up with Electro, the unstable casualty of Oscorp's dangerous experiments whose powers of electricity poses the right kind of threat to our masked hero. Now we talk about the things that worked in The Amazing Spider-Man. First, we speak about the director, that is Mark Webb. His direction was really great and made the movie watchable. The action sequences along with the characters' performances were blended very nicely. Second, we come to the most important part and that is Andrew Garfield and Emma Stone's chemistry. Because most of the movie has them on screen and their romantic track playing out. So their chemistry was really important and it came alive every time they were there. So that was a really good point. Third, we come to Dane Dehaan. Dane Dehaan's performance as Harry Osborn was great. James Franco did a good job in the earlier uh, Spider-Man series, but Dane Dehaan takes it to another level through his weird and uh, awkward teenager role. Harry Osborn, you're gonna want to see us, Oscorp, and you under surveillance. Why? Isn't that the question of the day? Last but not the least, we talk about the highlight of the movie, The Amazing Spider-Man, and that is its action sequences. And they were shot superbly. And the 3D greatly enhanced it, and for once, the 3D was useful for a movie. The CGI was believable and did not stick out like a sore thumb in the movie. So, that's about it. Now, the biggest and the only problem of The Amazing Spider-Man is its script. The script was poorly executed and it gets lost in the clutter of villains that Spider-Man goes up against. Now we know that it is a stepping stone for the next Spider-Man movie, but guys, come on, at least make some effort and build up the characters that you're showing on screen. Electro's character was not properly developed, neither was Rhino's, nor was Harry Osborn's, even though that was a really great character. On top of that, Peter Parker finds out about his dad. No spoilers here, but in, even that scene was poorly executed and you don't really feel for Peter Parker. Overall, what I'm trying to say is they put in a lot of things in the movie, they squeezed in a lot of things and it spoiled the movie. Overall time. So The Amazing Spider-Man 2 is visually entertaining, but it does not reveal much of the heart of what Spider-Man the hero stands for. Three stars for The Amazing Spider-Man 2 and most of it goes for the action sequences and the chemistry between Garfield and Stone. So I hope you like my review and do leave your comments below to give us your feedback. Do leave your comments below. Come on, leave them like there, down below, please. Also, before you leave, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, The Cynicary. The logo should be here for all the latest in short films, celebrity gossip and movie reviews. Until next time, goodbye. I've got to go save the world.